about a week ago, I posted a video about pet RNG, which did insanely well. But sadly, it didn't release that weekend as we all thought it would. Since we don't have a clear idea of when the game will actually release, let's check out everything we can expect from the new game. Before we start though, let's quickly do a huge giveaway. Last video, I promised to give away this huge holographic cat right here, so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. We'll just send it to this person right here. I had to get a few gems first, but yeah, GG's. And don't forget, I'm still giving away this huge mechatronic robot this Saturday. So if you are interested, make sure you leave your username in the comments below, and just like always, consider subscribing, we've been growing really fast lately. But with all that being said, let's jump right in. So I found a bunch of new leaks for Pet RNG and even a leak for Pet Simulator 99 that's been posted recently. But to those who haven't seen the last video, I'll get you caught up with all the leaks from there. To those who already know, skip to the timestamp. So Pet Sim RNG is going to be a standalone game from Pet Simulator 99. It'll have a separate economy and over a thousand pets including Titanics and Huges. And Pet Simulator 99 updates will be unaffected, so both games will be updating at once which is very cool. In addition, the game will also have a trading plaza which is also very nice. Probably something similar to Pet Sim 99 where you can sell your RNG pets for gems and stuff. And then finally, we have this leak of part of the map, so it's just some dice and some mountains. Which is very different from the classic blocky style in the RNG event here in 99. But now that, that quick recap is done, let's take a look at some new leaks. There's a lot of really big things in here too, so we're gonna get into all that as well. So first we're gonna take a look at some icons. So up first we have this calendar here with some little mystery coins. Now to me, this looks like daily rewards. Or it could also be daily quests. Because in Souls RNG, you could do daily quests and earn some nice rewards. So it could possibly be that. But up next we have this hoverboard icon, which kind of looks like it's for an upgrade. But there will in fact be hoverboards in the new RNG game, so that's really nice, especially if you want to move around and stuff, you know? It could probably be for like a little speed boost, like shiny hoverboards. This is not a shiny hoverboard, but I wish it was. But this next leak we have is this Genshin Impact, wait that's the wrong thing. The next leak we have is this lucky potion right here. It looks like one of these tier 1 potions right here, so I don't think it'll do much. But there are some more potion icons which do look rarer, so we could be getting a lot of potions. Specifically just luck potions because, you know, it's an RNG game. But now we start to get into some pretty interesting stuff. So first things first, we have a star. Now at first glance, this does look pretty useless. But in Souls RNG, when you get a rare R, there's this little cutscene with a star in the middle. And there are two different types of stars. The first one is when you get an R that's around 1 in 10,000 to 1 in a million. And then there's the second star where you get R's that are over a million plus. So these could possibly be for Huges and Titanics. Which I do find really cool. It is nice to see cutscenes are coming. But the next week we have is this Hyper Dice Game Pass. I know, not the best thing in the world. It doesn't really show how much it's going to cost. But knowing big games, we already know it's going to cost a lot. As you can see, it is going to be used for Pet RNG as stated below. Useless Pass in Pet RNG. And after that, we have more Game Passes. Yes, I know, even more. These are just titled Moon, Sun, and Neptune. Now, I'm pretty sure these are just placeholder names. They'll probably get changed in the future, but we don't actually know what these are going to be. This could be a Lucky Game Pass, a Huge Hunter Game Pass, or maybe a Shiny Game Pass. We might never know that. But finally, we have an official leak from Big Games themselves. Unfortunately though, it's not for Pet RNG, but for Pet Simulator 99. So we have this block right here, which kind of looks like a cube from Portal. But apparently this is going to be for the new Void World. But I also had the new RNG game come to mind when I saw this. But I doubt Pet Sim 99 would add a second RNG event. Like there's no way that's going to happen. But I see people saying that this could possibly be a Pokeball. Or Pokecube I should say. So maybe we'll get a world that's similar to the entirety of Pet Catchers. I haven't said that in a while, but I do think that is pretty nice. But yeah, those are just some new leaks for Pet Simulator RNG. If I had to take a guess, I would still say the game is going to release this year. But knowing big games, I think they would put out a trailer before the game actually comes out. So at this point, it's just best we wait for a trailer. But let me hear your thoughts on these leaks in the comments below. And just like always, if you did enjoy, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Peace.